When you, as a government, allow people to buy their own home, it wasn't the case in our family, but for many families, I've done a lot of election campaigning, it goes through generations. People never forget it. It was one of the most powerful things Margaret Thatcher ever did. Nobody knows, of course, that the right to buy policy first appeared in Labour's 1959 election manifesto and the, um, there were left-wing elements of the party that wouldn't allow it to eventually go through. And so I think... I hear your worries about building new homes. Them, yeah. yeah. But just do that as well, you know. I, I, I had decades, sorry, Emmett, of, yeah. of ha local authority housing. Yeah. The council wouldn't get it done. You feel lost and disempowered. <laughs> but it they're not be funded. Brilliant. You see, Kevin, it all comes back to this, a headline grabber for either the local elections or yeah, yeah. the next general election, whatever it is, and it all sounds very good. But it's not very good because you need social housing. You just cannot say to everybody else... Uh, well, we don't care, you're a fire, fire officer, you are a nurse, you are a teacher, whatever, and you need to live in London or Birmingham or Manchester, yeah. whatever. We've got no homes for you, so you're on your own. You go to the private sector. It's, it's a headline grabber and it's a nonsense. It really, it, like you and me, yeah. we've both bought our council houses, uh -huh. but my betrayal, I think where we were betrayed is we thought this is a great thing and it gives dignity to our family and it's fantastic. Yeah. But there was no replacement of those. Houses. Indeed, and that's. But that doesn't mean that right to buy in itself is wrong. The bigger problem yes. is human nature when new homes come forward, and we've all seen it across the country, whether it's Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, new home plans, and then you get the local community. Oh, we're not against them in principle, just not in this location, not here. Yes. How many times have we seen that? So any government that gives people a right to buy but builds new homes, yes. that's a winner. I that agree with you. I absolutely agree. And the way it's done, not sprawling estates, you know, select yeah. little areas that Agreed. give people dignity. And I could say, you and I, that you've come through the experience, you've shared the experience, and people who are in social housing or council housing may all be tarred with the same brush, but there is a dignity. People still need a home. They, you know, if they go out to work, they come back, they pay their rent. They're good tenants. Oh, and not everyone wants to buy their own home. And, yep. you know, London, I can mm. tell you, in Waterloo in particular, n incredible standard social housing. People like Coin Street Cooperatives. Yes. You'd never want to buy your own home if you live there. It's yeah. amazing. Mm. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's near the ITV it uh, is. building, or the former it is. ITV building. It's yeah. sensational, but... You know, the party, whether it's SNP, Tories or Labour, that actually does both parts of this right to buy, but constantly replenished housing will win huge numbers of votes. OK, mm -hmm. good. I yeah, I think it's interesting, something you just picked up on there, um, that is that some people don't necessarily want to buy a home at all times. And I, while I totally support the need for more social housing, I also wish we could have a much more open conversation about how we control our rental market in the UK. In the, in the UK, we have this kind of ideological obsession with home ownership, which is, I understand, but lots of it is driven because of how precarious people feel within the rental sector. And there are ways that we could control that, which would allow people to move to work, to move Amy, to different homes. I, I, think, I think the thing is, Amy, it's um, the private sector is the problem. It may well be mm. the solution, but it's the problem. If it's social housing and you're paying your rent to the local authority, yeah, absolutely. you will not feel the same abuse, will you not? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think, unfortunately, we have a situation where a, a staggering majority of MPs in the House of Commons are also landlords, yeah, yeah. which means that whenever we try to bring in more progressive controls around rental prices, around implementing basic standards in rental properties, we get pushback on the House of Commons benches. I, I think other countries have a much more progressive approach to rental, well, Germany, which allows people to live in decency, yeah. exactly, Germany, in know, rental uh, properties. As Amy suggests, you know, and there's nothing wrong per se with landlords, let me put that on the record, but in Germany it's very easy. Pass a law, legislate it, rent controls. We used to have it here. It's yeah. not, it's not yeah. some radical socialist mm. thing to be worried about. It's just Do you know what? You said it's not wrong with landlords and I agree and I know so many people who have bought properties yeah. and then I rent them out. Yeah. Good, decent people who want to do the You're right thing. You're looking at one, Eamon. Good. Right. And you want to do okay. if someone, if a yeah. tenant came to you and said there's water running down my wall, you said Agreed. don't worry, I'll get that sorted. And the rest right. of it. Do that. Yeah, yeah. But what about the rest of them who don't bother 
know, the amount of penny pinching well, scrooges that Bring, are out there. Bringing laws like Amy suggests, reasonable, fair minded British laws yeah. to encourage good practice. Yeah. And, and yeah. give tenants some rights. Yeah. At the moment, yeah. as a tenant, the only right you really have is to move out. Scandalous. Uh, and, and then you're left uh, absolutely at the whim of the market. I lived in a rental property in London where, apropos of nothing, they put my rent up 42% from one year to the next. Outrageous. People can't absorb that yeah. kind of cost. Well, the and idea what... to get you to move out. It's incredibly unclear. The area was going up in value, yeah. and I think they just wanted to implement a price hikes. And that's what drives the desire for home ownership because people feel so unstable. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we could dampen yeah. that down and give people some decency in rental, I think that would be a yeah. big part of the big well, It's part a of big the talking point yeah. today, and thank you very much indeed, for both of you, for your views on it. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.